three hours after the acquittal of Michael Jackson, and there has yet to be comment from Michael Jackson or any members of his family. Well, all that is about to change. As we welcome, in her debut here on MSNBC, my new colleague Rita Cosby with a world exclusive, and Jermaine Jackson will be joining Rita. Good evening, Rita. Good evening, and indeed, as you point out, none of the family members has commented at all up until this point, but we have with us now exclusively on the phone Jermaine Jackson, the older brother of Michael Jackson. Jermaine, can you hear me? Hi, Jermaine, first of all, what was your reaction to the verdict? I, I was very, very happy because we always felt from the very beginning my brother was a thousand percent innocent. That's what we stuck to. That's what we always knew, and that's what the jury did a great job. They did the right thing. And uh, we're very happy. The, uh, the family's rejoicing, and Michael's resting, and we're all very happy, Rita. Very happy that was. Well, was that what was michael's reaction jermaine what you were near him in the courtroom at the time what did he say and what did he do no during this during the final part the judge he only was in the uh in the courtroom so i stayed out to let my my mother and other people go in so i, I didn't see his reaction but he was strong he's very strong he's been tremendously strong but i would like to really really thank the supporters from around the world, the, the fans and, and the people who love my brother, who love the family, who's always supported us, because, like I said from the very beginning, he's been a thousand percent innocent, and that showed today, but it was a long, long struggle and a tough road, but being a family and staying together, we can overcome anything, and that's what we proved. So but thank you and thank everyone who really believed in us, and we know that the ones who who didn't and who said this and that, but that's not what it's about. We thank God, we thank the people who have been there and who know who we really are. And so I'll say, say it again, thank you to the world, really. And Jermaine, really we heard from the jurors, too. Um, I was very impressed with them. Here they were, you know, the regular jurors, also the alternates, very thoughtful. They seemed very level-headed. What were your impressions of the jury, and what would you like to say to this jury tonight? Well, I would like to say the jury has been wonderful, and there are wonderful people in this county. It's just the people who are in authority weren't so nice. And you know who I'm speaking of, but the, the taxpayers up here and the people, it's a wonderful community. But at the same time, the people who were put in power, those were the ones who weren't so nice and who concocted this whole thing from the very beginning. But justice was served. My brother was thousand percent innocent. I am the most happiest person. Also, my son's birthday is today. Dante, he's 13, and that was a special day. Today is a special day, and I'm just going to let Tito say, say hi right quick. Okay, great. Tito, do we have Tito Jackson on? Yes. Tito, uh, what is your reaction? This is Rita Cosby. Uh, you're on now live on MSNBC with Keith Oberman. Uh, tell us, if you could, your reaction to the verdict. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. Uh, like Jermaine was saying, uh, it's a beautiful day, and uh, we're just glad all of this is behind us. Uh, we can go on with our lives, and uh, Michael can go on with his life and do what he does best, and that's uh, making good music, making his fans happy, people happy all over the world, and that's what it's about. Now, Tito, how tough was this for the family? You know, we saw pictures of Michael. He looked so thin. He lost a lot of weight as this case went on. This really took a toll on him. Well, of course, this would take a toll on anyone, but at the same time, you must remember that uh, he's a very strong individual, but when you're uh, faced with such allegations, it would just beat you down in that uh, fact. So uh, yeah, he's strong, he's getting his strength back moment by moment, and uh, he knows that uh, he's going to be Michael Jackson in the future and uh, do the good music that he's always done and make people happy, and that's what it's about. And Tito, what are the family's plans tonight? What are you guys doing and what is Michael doing right now? Well, right now we're just trying to absorb everything. Uh, Mike, like I said, Michael's resting and uh, enjoying uh, his family, his children, and uh, just uh, taking it easy today. Today is a day of rejoice and to just uh, 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 take in everything and have fun. Uh, enjoy it. Party, have fun. Just enjoy your life. He has his life back in and he can do his thing.
You know, I spoke, Tito, with Jermaine probably about 30 seconds after the verdict came down, and the first thing Jermaine said to me was, my brother is free, a black cloud is lifted off of him. How do you feel? Do you feel that this has sort of wiped the slate clean for him and he can start fresh now? I'm sorry, I didn't hear the last part of your question. Do you, do you feel that now sort of these allegations against him are over with once and for all, he can start fresh? Yes, I'm glad that uh, he's got all this behind him and uh, pretty sure that there's a lot of people and uh, there's certain uh, people that doesn't report the news accurate for their own personal fame and gain and they know who they are. Uh, and uh, uh, I, I've listened to the news so many times when the news was reporting one thing and it wasn't what was going on in that courtroom. So uh, uh, now that these, some people are probably scratching their heads and saying, how did that happen? That's because some of the media didn't give the public the full story. They didn't give them the true cross-examination. And that happens at times. But now Mike was free. He went through the justice system. And like Jermaine was saying, it's a beautiful county out here. And, and now Tom Stedden, he can retire and do whatever he needs to do. He had his day in court, and that's about that's that about that. And leave Michael Jackson, leave him alone. What would you say to Tom Snedden? The DA came out earlier today, Tito, and he said that he feels that the case was justified. He still stands by the reason he brought charges against your brother. What would you say to him tonight if he's listening? Oh, hold on. I'm sorry? Tito, what would you say to Tom Snedden tonight? Because he said that he still stands by the charges, that he's, you know, he felt he did the right thing. What would you say to the DA tonight if he's listening? Well, I don't have anything to say to Mr. Stedden, you know? Uh, uh, nothing at all. So uh, it's, it's a beautiful day for the family. We went through his justice system, and, and there were uh, the jurors on the stand. My brother found innocent under uh, uh, 10 counts, and uh, that's that about that. What do you think's ahead for your brother career-wise, Tito? I'm sorry? What do you think's ahead for your brother career-wise? Oh, Michael Jackson is Michael Jackson, and uh, no matter if he sold 40 million records off of one record and sold 15 off his last or whatever the counts may be, Michael Jackson will be Michael Jackson, and, and you can't take that away from him, and who knows what the future is for him. Do you think he's going to be bigger than ever? Uh, he's never been small. All right. Well, Tito, thank you very much. We so much appreciate Tito Jackson, also Jermaine Jackson, two older brothers, and Michael Jackson joining us live here exclusively. Keith, back to you. Rita Cosby, great work. Tito Jackson saying it was a beautiful day today, and Tom Snedden, he can retire. And Jermaine Jackson saying the family always knew he was 1,000% innocent and giving us the first indication of what Michael Jackson has been doing in the hours since the acquittal, resting. In uh, Jermaine's words, he was strong. He's been tremendously strong throughout.